The Talking Point with Kathy Motlasana. Weekdays, 9 a.m. till midday. Well, let's speak now about the 4 billion rand fund that has been set up by government to specifically assist businesses affected by the um, unrest in July. Now, this fund will be driven by the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, as well as the National Empowerment Fund. Let's welcome onto the show Nklan Nyembe, who is the Divisional Executive for SME, SME and Rural Development at the NEF. Uh, good morning and thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, good morning, Cathy, and good morning to your listeners. Let's firstly talk about this fund and how exactly it's going to be administered. Will the NEF be responsible for distributing the 4 billion rand or are you distributing only a portion of that? Uh, firstly, uh, uh, thanks for inviting us, uh, Cathy. Yeah. Um, Basically, uh, NEF is only uh, distributing the portion of, of, of that fund. Um, about 150 million rand has been allocated to the National Empowerment Fund. Mm. And the other balance has been also distributed to other uh, DFIs, uh, such as the IDC, um, who have uh, actually received a, a bigger portion because of their size and their reach, as well as their mandate to support um, industrialization. So NEF at the moment is it's, it's, um, it's administering 150 million rand, focusing on uh, small uh, black-owned uh, businesses. What What is the criteria that you are going to be using in terms of distributing these monies? Um, the criteria, basically, the most important one for the National Empowerment Fund, which also speaks to our mandate, is that the business has to be 51% black-owned and controlled. Mm. And there has to be operational involvement by the uh, <clears throat> entrepreneurs that are applying for funding. And they have to be in good standing in terms of their tax affairs and have a valid tax clearance a certificate, or failing which at least they should ha- they should enter into some kind of an arrangement um, with the uh, with SARS if, if they maybe they have issues with their tax matters. Um, yeah, so our funding um, basically go up to 10 million rand per entity. Um, and I think also just to mention that um, we also plan the fund. So 80%, 80% it's it, it, it from the, uh, the, black manu- uh, the, black, the black business uh, manufacturing program which is the fund, and the 20% is from the National Empowerment Fund. But nothing stops us from exceeding that 10 million rand, um, in which case uh, mm. we'll go to a maximum of 10 million rand in terms of this fund, and then the rest will come from the National Empowerment Fund. So with the, the money that we're talking about, is it a loan? Or is it a grant, given the fact that obviously these are businesses that could well have been investing in infrastructure over a period of time um, and, and may not necessarily be in a space, given the extent of the rebuilding that needs to take place, to be paying back a, 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 a loans, especially of, of such a high amount? Um, it, it is a loan, but it is a con- concessionary loan. Um uh, with um, the interest of 2% per annum. And then uh, we also give businesses a moratorium of, of, of 12 months, uh, both in interest and capital. So it means for the first 12 months, they don't have to pay interest. They don't have to pay capital. And also the interest doesn't accrue on, 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 on the on the principal amount. So the, the interest, it, it remains 0% uh, for the first 12 months. And then thereafter, um, you know, um, and then they have to start uh, paying the loan. Um, so the total duration of the of the loan is five years. So it means they have to pay back over a period of 48 months. Mm. What, yeah. what, what are you going to be needing from businesses to prove that they, in fact, are part of those that were affected by the looting? So what's nothing, what stops me from coming through to you and asking for funding and saying, well, I was affected by the looting? What are you going to do to yeah. take that? Yeah, maybe if I can clarify, I think the criteria that I've been uh, explaining now is for the black business manufacturing uh, program. But we also have what we call economic recovery fund, I guess, which is the four billion rand that you were 
referring to. Mm. Um, so of the 4 billion rand that you mentioned, uh, 250 million rand has been allocated to the National Empowerment Fund. So on that one, actually, um, it's a separate fund uh, which has just been launched, but we've started, um, you know, uh, approving transactions and, under, under the fund. Um, also, we go up to 10 million rand, but that particular fund, uh, we, we, we charge in 0% interest. So the, 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 there's no interest amount that is paid on that fund. And, uh, <clears throat> and the first 12 months is uh, also we offer a moratorium of 12 months uh, to the businesses. And thereafter, um, if they can demonstrate that they have created the jobs that were lost and, and uh, they managed to save the, those uh, those jobs, so we are able to give them a grant of up to uh, like 30% of, of the total funding, but up to a maximum of 3 million rand. As we have just mentioned that, you know, uh, most of those buildings are rebuilding and they need um, that building space basically to start rebuilding their, 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 their businesses. So, so that's the economic recovery fund that deals with the, the riots um, that we experienced um, in, in the month or so. Mm. And, and what's yeah. the criteria for that fund then? Because it sounds like we've been talking about two separate things. Yeah. So the criteria for that one, basically, a client has to demonstrate that they were affected uh, by the riot. Um, and then they just need to give us the information in terms of their requirements. Um, and because in most cases, as you've mentioned, that um, most of them would have um, lost the infrastructure, the system, stock, and, and, and all other you know items that they need to run their businesses. So they just need to quantify that. And then in terms of the criteria, we fund all businesses under this one. Um, so because this is not the NEF um, sort of funding, the DTIC funding, mm. and therefore we follow the DTIC uh, uh, requirements and, 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 guide, and guidelines. So we fund all businesses uh, under, under this one. So where can people go to find out more information about how to access all of these different funds that uh, the NEF is making available? Um, they can actually, we, we have the email address, uh, which I can share now. Um, the email address is, um, uh, just for a second, I'll give it to you now. I think it's www.recovery.co.za. And then the, there's a specific number, actually, that they can go to. The number is uh, 011-305-8080. So it's three zero five eight zero zero, and then the hotline is zero eight hundred zero zero six five four three. So I think if 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 you can just read that landline number out again for us zero double okay. one three zero five mm-hmm. eight zero eight zero. Okay. Okay, so so the landline number zero double one three zero five eight zero eight zero, and the other na- line. This is the hotline number eight zero hundred double zero six five four three. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming onto the show today. Ntlan Tlanyembe, Divisional Executive for SME and Rural Development at the National Empowerment Fund.